I recently picked up a couple of games at a game store, a decent ways away from where I live. These are nothing special or fancy, but I don't have them in my collection yet. On the outside, they seem okay. Labels could be better. It seems like someone cleaned this one up with a scrub pad or something. Let's toss them in the Retro Kevin NES and see how they work. Now, honestly, I never expect games I bought to work the first try. So we'll reinsert the cartridge and try again. Okay, so this game works. But I will still be tearing it down and cleaning this one later, probably off camera. Now for the next game. No again, no surprise. We'll just reinsert and try again. Wait, what is that? Good. We'll get that cleaned up for sure. So a few more tries and still nothing. I'm sure if I kept at it, I could probably get this to play, but that's not good enough for me. So let's open this up and get to the good stuff. To get into the cart, we will need to remove three screws with our 3.8mm security screwdriver. Tossing those screws in a bin so we don't lose them. Carefully lift the case so we don't break any tabs or anything. This could use a little better cleaning as well. This is pretty common in these old games. This is most likely what's causing the problems. It's my theory that this corrosion is caused when people blow into their carts instead of cleaning them the correct way. We'll also check this capacitor too, just to make sure it's okay. This side doesn't look too bad, but we'll still get cleaned. I'll start by wiping everything down with non-bleach Clorox wipes. Be careful around that label. If you get a little bit on it, quickly dry it off, otherwise you will damage it. I've heard about other products for cleaning and restoring this sort of thing, but that will be for another video and using a game cart that I don't really care about as a tester. dirtier, hard to reach areas and use a cotton swallow. Now with the cotton swab in these corners, you'll want to roll it to really get those to be cleaned well. Applying more cleaner from the wipes when need be. Just from the corners of this, look how dirty that swab got. Next, we'll get to those corroded connectors. I'll be starting off with a high polymer eraser, also known as a drafting eraser. We'll just set the board on the edge here and polish it until we don't notice much more happening. Already looking better, but we still have this to take care of. And we'll do the same to the other side. Now I'll use isopropyl alcohol as a solvent and see if we can take care of that corrosion. A little better, uh, but still not good enough. Next step, I'm going to use some rust penetrating spray. I found this to work pretty well, but if you know of anything better else that I can try, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Just a small amount on the cotton swab will do it. Again, we'll just use this as a solvent and polish with the eraser. It 
gets better, but still not good enough for me. On this next step, I express extreme caution and to be very careful. I am going to use a small flathead screwdriver to gently scrape off this corrosion. You do not want to scratch up the connections here. After all that is done, I'll finish off by cleaning up with some more alcohol. Now let's test that capacitor that I talked about earlier. Now I doubt you can see it here, but it has a rating of 22 UF, or microfarad. There's the 22 UF on our cap tester, so we'll be going up from here to see what we're looking at. Checking the clarity of the cap for testing. That's in the yellow. If the game still doesn't work after all of this, I will replace that. Otherwise, it is good for now. Now we can reassemble our cart and test it out again. First try, nothing. But this is the NES, so let's try again. Looks good for now. Let's play test a little just to make sure. A little graphics issue. I'll just slightly adjust the card. 